Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Richard Stevenson and I'm the director of Stevenson Dental Solutions in San Dimas, California. And we're a teaching center that focuses on hands-on courses to enhance your skills and knowledge in clinical dentistry. And today we're going to discuss punching holes for the mandibular isolation. And we're going to start with my favorite rubber dam, the Nicktone 6x6 Blue, also available in black, 6 inches across and six inches down. And we're going to start with the holes in the intersection between three inches from the top and two inches over. So one third of the width and one half of the height of the rubber dam will serve as our intersection point for tooth number 19. And then from the first molar we're going to go ahead and create the isolation to the midline. And typically I like to run the holes at a slight angle towards the interior with the spacing being approximately a quarter of an inch apart or about the thickness of the handle of a mirror. Premolar, first premolar, canine. And at the canine position, just change direction. So now you want to run so that the holes are paralleling the top and bottom edge of the rubber dam. And that's the isolation. When we're isolating on the second molar, we're going to still look for that three inch down and two inch over intersection that we used for the first molar isolation. But we're going to do something rather different. We're actually going to place the hole for tooth number 18 lower on the rubber dam. The reason for this is that if we were to place the hole in the same position as number 19, there would not be enough rubber dam to leave the oral cavity and adequately cover the upper lip. So that's the hole for 19. But we're not going to isolate to 19 on this rubber dam. We're going to isolate all the way back to the second molar. So we're going to drop the hole about one quarter of an inch lower on the rubber dam. And a lot of people find this to be counterintuitive, but once you think about what's really happening, it makes a lot of sense. So 19, 20, 21, 22, and then we'll just, once we hit the canine, we change directions. Let's go ahead and hold these two rubber dams up next to each other. And on the left is the isolation from 19 to 24, and on the right is from 18 to 24. And you'll notice that the location for the hole of 19 is different quite a bit on both rubber dams. And for 18, it's lower than it was for 19 on the left. Once again, the purpose for this is to create enough rubber dam to leave the oral cavity behind the clamp and cover the upper lip. Thanks for watching this little tip, and stay tuned for many more on Rubber Dam. All the best.